Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. In this video, I'm going to show you this miner and the recommendations that I'm going to tell you how you have to ma maintain these kind of computers. Otherwise, you're going to burn them. So in this case, I'm going to show you the, the connectors. They're kind of yellow, <laughs> almost melting. And also all the dust that uh, this uh, kind of uh, uh, miners uh, are getting so in this case I'm going to change the camera so that way uh, I can show you and you will see so in this case as you can see it has a lot of dust inside I don't know where the this miner was uh, working so as you can see here we have a perfect and clean uh, board so as you can see you, you should be able to see my finger in the other side a little, little bit there we go so you can see, you can see my, my finger through the, um, the cracks here on the heatsink. So this is not the case. So you cannot see anything in, almost in the other side. It's like some of them you may see, but it has like dust everywhere. So I don't know where the machine was running, but if, if you have some difficulties uh, running the machine on your home or maybe in your office, I can offer you the service of housing for these machines. You can send it to me. I'll make them run in a good place with temp a good temperature, of course, and in a clean environment. So you have to have some kind of filters in the intake so that way in the room so that way you won't have these kind of issues and also uh, if you if you clean the, the air i mean the air is clean the the one you have in the room you will not have all this dust and all those things in in this kind of uh, computers and this kind of miners or whatever it is so i, I don't know if they're they were working in a chicken house or i don't know but this is kind of disgusting so that is how is the the miner in this side so in the, the other side i'm going to show you a little bit so in the other side is not that bad because this is the uh, the output in the other is the input so the intake so that is how everything is so i hope i can just by blowing some air i can clean it otherwise i will, I will have to take all the the boards apart as you can see here and this is another s9 so as you can see it's perfectly clean so once you take the out you can you know blow some air also you can use some uh, alcohol it's a pretty alcohol also with some kind of brush and you can clean it all also remember to use anti-static gloves that is very important and if you are going to use some brush it, it should be anti-static as well don't brush the circuit board or you are going to damage it uh, also if you're going to use some compressor make sure that you're going to use something that it has a filter or a water filter so that way because if you are blowing air and maybe it has some drops of water inside of the of the hose and all the things and you after you clean it up you start using the, the computer you will have some short circuit or something and that will uh, damage the, the unit so that will be very very bad so try to add one of those uh, keep a very good um, air filters in everywhere so that way uh, all the environment is going to be clean as possible try to keep it working maybe in 60 uh, degrees uh, so that in, for for the room the, the the machines inside if you if you can make them work in 70 that would be okay if you can work if you can make them work with less awesome so at least that is the the basics uh, in this case if you have to take care of the machines or if you have to do some maintenance and all those things uh, that is how you do it if you want me to do it for you just let me know all my information is in the video description and I, I will be glad to help you in case if you want me to hold the machines make them run for you maybe in your state uh, the electricity is expensive uh, I'll try uh, I mean in, at least in my state is <laughs> is cheap the electricity is cheap here yeah, at least right now I am in in Kentucky so le, le, if you have any question like, as usual let me know in the comment in the section below or send me a whatsapp or an email or whatever so I hope this a class was useful for you remember click on subscribe in the little bell click on like if you like it in this like if you dislike it and see you next class thanks bye
Okay, uh, after I just clean it, so I'm going to show you. So this will be a bonus material. I'm going to change the camera. So this is the, um, the case. So I'm going to clean it inside a little bit uh, more. So that way it will be in mint conditions. O other than that, I just clean the by blowing some air. And as you can see, everything looks clean and perfect like the other one. So now I have to see if there is some damage or not in this kind of miners, on um, these uh, hashing boards. And uh, no other than that, it uh, looks uh, fine. The only thing, like I mentioned before, is the uh, yellow that you see on the connector. That is because they were using the wrong power supply. Usually it's because of that. And if I show you another one that I have, that this miner has been using the right power supply, the connectors are all white. So that is how it should be. Uh, you should not have any issues. So I hope this bonus material was useful and see you in the next class.